So we're going to start out with our center guide. We're going to pull the hair straight up from the forehead. And then we're not going to cut past our center knuckle. You want to just use the tip of the scissor and don't cut past your center knuckle. And make sure you take very small sections. If you take large sections, you're going to wind up with scissor marks. So you want to take extremely small sections right. so the hair is... The longer the hair on top, the lower the taper. And another, another thing to kind of remember or, or to give you an idea on how high you can go is you never want the taper higher than the bang area. So obviously the bang area is right around here just to the temple area so we can't go any higher than that. And We actually got to leave off just a little bit lower so we leave ourselves enough room to blend. So we're going to start out with the tip of the blade and very slowly arc the blade away from the head. Let the clipper work. Now and just to drive home the point again, if we didn't do the top and work our way down, if you remember how much hair the, the customer had, you wouldn't be able to do this step. There would be too much hair here. You would lose sight of these teeth cutting the hair. And so you'd be able to blade high. on the comb. And then we switch to the tip of the blade. And we're blended. Heel of the blade to the tip of the blade. So now what we're going to do is we're going to work on tapering out the tail in the middle. So the clipper is in the open position. Now when I get to this area, the hairline here where the beard starts and the hair, the beard stops and the hairline starts, that's where we're going to start scooping that, using our scooping motion. And then in the corners, we don't want to go into that, all right? So we go all the way across. Okay, then we're going to close the clipper halfway down. We're going to do it again and not go as high. 